network or anything. I, I don't the know. Tea? By Felicia. I don't even know what Felicia is. Fel no cap. Ratchet. Rat. <laughs> Do you know what slang is? Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a very exciting one, and it's testing my Asian parents' knowledge on slang. So do you guys know what slang is? Yeah, I think so. It's usually when younger people will say something. You don't really know what it means unless you know the context. Mm, like the young people use a special words to indicate what they mean. I think I know some. Okay. Should be not too bad. So without further ado, let's just get on to this video. I'm so excited. Yeah, we'll try our best to pass this test. Okay. It's a teamwork, right? Uh-huh. The first word is tea. So I'm gonna put this in like a sentence. Spill the tea. Oh my gosh, spill the tea. Oh. <laughs> we'll go first. Ne never heard of this. Spill I, I the tea? Know. That's a tea which we drink every day. Well, it's spill slang. You have to remember oh. it's slang. Ah, spill the tea. A good way or bad way? It's usually a little bit more negative. That means messy? Uh, no. Spill. You guys just come up with one final answer and then I'll tell you what the actual answer is. Spill the tea. That means uh, you tell the secret. Yes! Really? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> because the tea makes me think about the tea. I don't know uh, why. Okay. I just guess. We are going too far, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right answer? Yeah. It's just like exchanging drama and like secrets and stuff. Ooh, like wow. Ooh. Okay, the next one. Okay. Common one. I. I'm choosing oh, the most wow. common ones. See, okay. I'm better than you. You guys are so deep. I... Okay. This one is shook. Oh, this is shocking. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> this one is easy, huh? Salty. Uh, jealous. No. That means Not you are very straightforward. Maybe can be hurtful. No. Is that your final guess? Yeah, kind of jealous, right? Well, okay. It means like bitter behavior. So I guess maybe a little bit jealous, but you don't have to be jealous to be salty. Like if someone like did you wrong before and like you act bitter around them, like you're being salty. Uh, so that's like, what I mean. You... Like a revenge? The next word is woke. Well knowledge? Yeah, kind of. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow, close. Wow, huh? we have <laughs> such good parents. What do you think? Woke, like you wake up, you are very aware early. of something. Early? Always early? No, you day. were right before. It's basically being aware of like world issues by Felicia. You have heard of that. Felicia. I don't even know what Felicia is. Felicia <laughs> is a people's name, right? Yeah. By Felicia. By to a girl. Maybe uh, a type of person? Wait, what's your final guess? That means, okay, I won't deal with you anymore. Okay, uh, what's yours? Uh, I will restart something. The meaning is if you're tired of putting up with someone, tell them bye, Felicia. That she got it right. Uh, Whoa! Woo! I'm close uh, to her. Uh, I'm <laughs> start so who is the Felicia? Right? Tell us. Receipts. I got the receipts. That means, um, I have a proof. Or... I got your message. Evidence. Yeah, it's evidence. It's definitely not that you got someone's message. Okay, the next word is beat. Right on time? No, like I I beat you, right? You shouldn't <laughs> no. be that, right? Give us a, a sentence. Um, he really knows how to beat his face. Decoration? <clears throat> No, I think makeup. Yeah, makeup. The Sounds messy, huh? And the next phrase is no cap. I'm not gonna give a sentence on this. No cap. Unlimited. No cap. I think it's like uh, without any ceiling or cover, you can go on, um, yeah, like similar like your daddy said, no yeah. unlimited. It's basically used to emphasize a statement that isn't a lie. You'd be like, your cooking's really good, no cap. Basically emphasizing that what you're saying is genuine and not a lie. Oh, totally different, yeah. Slaps. This coffee slaps. So it should be very good. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a clap your hands. <laughs> How can a coffee be bad? Oh, dead. I'm dead. Exhausted. Give out all my energy. Nothing in my tank left. Uh, you want to get rid of this situation. It actually means that you find something really funny. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. That means that you're laughing so hard. You're like, I'm dead. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Out of the breath. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The next word is shade. I'm not trying to throw shade. I will be a uh, friend, can you? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Cover up? No. Very strict. Hide something. Yeah, we're well, honest. No, well, basically throwing shade means throwing disrespect. 
So uh, being shady is like to disrespect someone. It's a really tough one, huh? <laughs> Goat. Oh, this is so easy. G O A T. Oh, uh, so everybody. Uh, wait, 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 I have no idea, gold. Give you a reminder. Tom Brady is a gold. Oh. Six time Super Bowl championship. I think I know. I've come to the decision that I'm gonna remove 0 0.5 points out of this round for this word because go is just a word that anyone that lives in New England should know. And even though my dad still got it, mom, you can do better. You can tell. It's greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. The next slang word is extra. You're so extra. Too much. Yeah, you're like doing too much. Yeah, like, that's not yeah. appropriate for your mom. <laughs> Cook too much. Mommy okay. cook too extra. <laughs> the next slang word is Gucci. That's Gucci. Yamaguchi. The Japanese name. Gucci is a brand, right? Oh, you are too Gucci. <sighs> no clue. It's reflecting a feeling for something you love or if you're feeling like good, you're like, I'm Gucci. Not many people that I know use this one, but I've definitely heard it before. Keep it 100. Oh, I totally agree with you. Hmm. This challenge really helped me get to know my parents better because as we were playing, I realized that my mom, she would usually be the first person to say what she thought it was and she wouldn't really like take more than like five seconds to decide. But my dad, like I had to cut out a lot of time where he was just like thinking for like 15 seconds. Neither one is necessarily good or bad, but it's cool. I'll pay my full attention. Um, <laughs> it basically means to be authentic. Like I'm going to keep it 100% real with you. Yeah, that's something related yeah, close, yeah, to what I'm okay. saying, right? What did you say? Paying full attention. Well, that doesn't mean that you're being completely real, right? <laughs> That's pretty real. Okay, the next word is lit. Oh, this this is... I really don't know, actually. Something <laughs> That's so lit. Like you light, right? You uh, lit, you lit. What about you? What do you think lit means? Can you give me a sentence again? Okay. This is so lit. Let's get lit. Little bit. <laughs> yeah. It basically means like really good, or it's kind of like for party context. You can be like, this party is so lit. Okay, the camera can't see. Oh, you. Okay. sorry. Uh, Back to the camera. Okay. Oh, ratchet. That's so ratchet. <laughs> Rat. <laughs> Not a very good word, definitely. Right? <laughs> yeah. Nasty or something like that. Okay, what, what do you think? Yeah, like a sneaky? Not really sneaky, but it means like, really like a rat. rude or like trashy. So there's a rat in front of me, right? <laughs> stan. I stan her. Understand. What do you think? I have no idea. Oh, stand by. Word. Support? Yeah, support. Like, uh, I, uh, I stan Alec Benjamin. It's like you're a fan of someone. Yeah, you have to understand someone first, then support, right? Mm -hmm. Both are correct. Okay. The next word is thirsty. She's so thirsty. Eager. Yeah, she's so thrilled to do something. Um, <laughs> not exactly. It just means, like, desperately want approval. Like, She's so thirsty for attention. Oh. Like people can tell you're trying really hard. I see. She's really like thrilled to do something. <laughs> thirsty. Okay. How did we do so far? Pretty good. I'm oh. surprised. Is there a score? More than 50. I'll put a score thing up on You will editing. give us some receipts for that? <laughs> <laughs> I see we can get at least a 70%. What does bae mean? She's my bae. He's my bae. Pal? Friend? There's fellow? Can someone tell me why my mom is scavenging for Every single noun, but girlfriend or boyfriend. Best friend, best. It's basically like another word for babe. You call your girlfriend or boyfriend that. Like baby. Bae. Yeah, kind oh, of like baby. that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys thought it was Oh, yeah. Best baby. Yeah. Baby. Wow. Hi, baby. Another slang phrase that I use pretty much every day is who gon' tell her? Who gon' tell her? Who um, cares? It means who like. Who gon' tell her? Let me, let me guess. That means, um, don't tell her. Nobody will tell her. <laughs> it basically means like, if you see like your friend like wearing a super ugly outfit, you're like, who gonna tell her? Who's gonna break the truth to her? Or, don't like, hurt someone, yeah, that. No, it's just kind of like, we're gonna have to tell her, but who's gonna tell her? Oh. It's just like a funny like, who gonna tell her? Oh, you need a volunteer here. No. <laughs> Should you go to tell her, your friends, if she's didn't do something well? 
Uh, not really. It's more like a joke. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see some more videos to my parents, just let me know down below and give us some ideas. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and follow my Instagram because I'm constantly responding to DMs from you guys, so just go over there if you want to have a conversation. That's all I have to say, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm very pleased with the